everybody. Well, I'm absolutely thrilled to give you this first look at 3D Touch live in action on the new iPhone. Let's take a look now. And we're gonna start with something we do every day, and that's in mail. Now, in the past, in mail, if I had a message like this one at the top that I wanted to get a little bit better look at, I'd tap in like this, I might take a look and realize, no, this, this isn't something I wanna deal with now, so I'd maybe bring up a sheet, mark it as unread, and go back. So I do a lot of in and out, in and out. Well, with 3D Touch, we don't need to do this anymore. So now I can just apply just a little bit of pressure like that and dive right into a message, take a quick look, let go, I'm right back to where I started from. Now, sometimes I take a look at a message, take that peek, get a good look at it, and realize I actually wanna go deeper. So I press deeper, and I'm right in the message. I popped in, and I can take a look just like always. Now, occasionally, I'll see a message like this. It looks like Dan Riccio says, check out my new Apple ride. Well, I've been hearing things about this on the internet, so I'm curious to see what we'll <laughs> see here. I'll take a little peek, maybe make some news here today. Oh, exactly. Yeah, and so when I see a message like this, I might wanna take action. Well, now I can just flick up and get to actions that easily. Or for common actions, I can just slide to the side to mark something as red, or in this case, send it on its way to the trash. <laughs> so of course, Force Touch or, or 3D Touch is in integrated throughout the system and all the apps you use most. Let's take a look in messages. Now here, I've been having a conversation with a friend about an upcoming visit. Messages is spotted a time when she's coming into town. Well, now I can just peek on that time and see what's going on in my calendar, maybe even create an event. The phone also spotted that she sent me a flight number. Well, I can peek in on that. And look at that, I get details right on the incoming flight time. That's really convenient. <laughs> now, your friends often send you great ideas about what you guys might do together when they're in town. Here's a web link. And now I don't have to go to Safari. I can just peek in and take a look right here within messages at that web page, and maybe that's something we won't be doing when during this visit. So we can see that right inside of messages. But now what's really great about 3D Touch is it lets me take action on apps without even having to open them. So I might wanna call one of my favorites. Well, watch what happens. I can get to them right here directly from my home screen. Or maybe I wanna to listen to music like Beats One or a song from my favorite band. Well, I can do that right here. And sometimes you need to take that emergency selfie and you want to get directly to the selfie camera? Well, now you can. <laughs> and when you want to preview those selfies to make sure you got the right shot, just peek in. You can slide right back and forth and see that you got the shot you were looking for. It's really handy. Now, when you're on the go with maps, I can just peek in here, get directions right to home, or drop a pin to mark my location so I can find my car. And on locations on the map, I can just peek in like this, get more information on hours, directions, or even call. It's just so much more direct and natural than ever before. Now, 3D Touch also makes it easier to navigate across apps. So in the past, I would do this by double clicking on my home button to get into multitasking. It's pretty cool. I can go, let's say, go into messages. Well, now with 3D Touch, I can just apply a little bit of force on the edge and look what happens. Go right into my applications, just like that. I can swipe across and pick an app, and if I wanna go back to the previous app, in a single gesture, I can just swipe across between apps. It's totally epic. <laughs> now, we've been able to bring in some of our great third-party developers over the past couple of weeks to see what they could do with 3D Touch, and their feedback has been phenomenal. Dropbox makes it easier now, right from your home screen, to get at your recent documents or upload photos, search your Dropbox. On Facebook, I can update my status or check in right here from my home screen. With WeChat, I can take one of their site videos, just like this, and Instagram, now they've really gone to town. I can jump right in to my activity feed and when I'm in here with these little picture thumbnails, well, of course, I can peek right in. If I want a favorite or like one, I can do it just like this. Or if there's a person I follow and I want to see all of their photos, well, I can, of course, dive deeper and pop right in 
and take a look at these great images. It's just such a natural way to browse Instagram. And of course, they even made it play videos automatically. So no matter what you like to do with your phone, 3D Touch makes it better than ever. I think you're gonna love it. Thank you very much. Ooh.